the Catholic counter-reformer, Luis Molina, was deeply disturbed by the implication of Calvin and Luther's view that God's sovereignty over human history precludes and destroys the significant freedom of human beings. And so what Molina wanted to find was a way to reconcile divine sovereignty and human freedom. Uh, not denying either, but affirming both. And Molinism, which is named for Molina, is the theory that he developed to reconcile divine sovereignty and human freedom. And I, I think it's absolutely brilliant. Once you understand this theory, it sheds light on so many other Christian doctrines and illuminates them in exciting new ways. And what Molina's theory held is that God, in addition to knowing everything that could happen and everything that will happen, he also knows everything that would happen under different circumstances. So, for example, he knows what you would have done if you were the procurator of Judea in the first century and Jesus of Nazareth was dragged before you for trial. He knows whether you, like Pilate, would have condemned him to the cross or whether you would have let him go. In any circumstance that you might be in, God knows what you would freely do. And it's important to understand that Molina is affirming here significant libertarian freedom. It's not emphatically not, that you're causally determined in those circumstances to do what you would do. Rather, you act freely. It's just that God, in his omniscience, knows what you would freely choose to do. And so, by creating certain persons in certain circumstances, God can orchestrate and providentially direct the course of human history through the free actions and decisions of human beings. He is completely in control in the sense that it's up to him what circumstances exist and who exists in them, but he doesn't treat people like puppets by making them do what they do in those circumstances. He allows them to freely choose. He takes hands off, so to speak, and says, you make the choice what you want to do in these circumstances, but God knows what they would do, and thus he can direct the course of human history to his ends without obliterating human freedom. And so Molina's theory provides a dramatic reconciliation of divine sovereignty and human freedom, affirming that God is in control of everything that happens, and yet at the same time that he gives to human persons significant libertarian free will.